Elon Musk has yet again taken the world by storm by audaciously slashing the pricing of Tesla vehicles overnight. But what does the billionaire have in mind now, and what are his real intentions behind this rather eccentric idea? But before we continue, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel. Subscription is an excellent way of supporting our channel, and I really appreciate all the support you can give us, and for that, I am really, really grateful. According to Tesla's most recent earnings report released in January 2023, Musk is trying to capitalize on the demand for electric automobiles. Throughout the course of this year, Tesla plans to continue cutting prices while simultaneously introducing new goods. Nonetheless, to the recent price drop, which was about 20%, both the Tesla client base and the automotive industry reacted with shock and astonishment. This is despite the fact that price adjustments are something of a norm in the automotive sector. Model Y's price, for example, steadily crept up in modest amounts until the end of 2022 and maxed out at $66,000. But this is where Elon Musk decided to wish everyone a happy new year and instantly lowered the price back to $53,000 in January 2023. Actually, when the price increased in the first place, both the limits on the supply chain, which delayed the manufacturing speed and the continually increasing demand for customers were contributing factors. In 2021 and 2022, there was a strong demand for people to purchase Teslas, but longer waiting lists. The order to deliver period for the Model Y was as long as 12 to 14 months. To solve the dilemma, Tesla could either raise the level of output or lower the demand. And guess what? Tesla went with the latter. By increasing the price of its EVs, the company somewhat decreased the demand from customers. However, Elon stated on multiple occasions that he will bring the costs back down as soon as the market conditions were favorable. Over the same period, Tesla was expanding its production at two existing plants while also beginning manufacturing at two completely new factories. Along with this development, pressure inside the global supply chain began to relax, and according to Tesla's earning report for the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2022, the company finished the year with 13 days' worth of automobiles still available in inventory. This supply surplus meant yet another price decrease, which we are getting to see today. But what's even sweeter is that because the price of the Model Y has fallen to below $55,000, it is now eligible for a full tax credit of $7,500 in the United States, bringing the effective cost down to approximately $47,000. It is also possible that these prices will continue to fall. Now you can probably imagine the consumers who purchased the Tesla in late 2022 were disappointed to learn that they had just missed out on the sale by a hair's breadth. Also, because of how Tesla handles its pricing, the rapid drop is more obvious than the standard car makers, and perhaps even more unpleasant for customers. But how happy are the Tesla competitors with this news? Currently, the automotive industry is being rocked by the after-effects of this shockwave. Tesla was responsible for the sale of 63% of all electric vehicles in the United States in 2022, and is thus in a position to effectively determine what the going rate is for a brand new automobile. If Tesla lowers their price, then it will likely force everyone else in the industry to do the same. Nevertheless, the rest of the group isn't going to have an easy time with it. The real reason why Tesla can afford to lower their price while still making a sizable profit on each and every vehicle is because of its huge profit margins. In 2022, the gross margin that the corporation earned on vehicle sales was calculated to be 28.5%. On the other hand, the gross margin for the competitors like Ford is currently hovering somewhere about 13%. Tesla also gets additional revenue from the regulatory credits offered by the United States government. But the credits aside, why can't the other companies compete with Tesla in terms of their pricing? The issue for a firm like Ford is that they just do not have the financial resources necessary to reduce the costs of their electric vehicles. This 13% profit is entirely attributable to the sales of their internal combustion cars, particularly the F-150. The company's fully electric options, such as the Mustang Mach-E, which is a direct rival to the Model Y, Ford does not generate any profit. And if you think we're bluffing, John Lawler, the chief financial officer of Ford, also stated the same to the press in June 2022. According to him, the profit of Mach-E has been completely wiped out. 
Even though the firm increased the price of its vehicles in 2022, it has not been able to offset the impact of the company's rising costs. Nonetheless, Ford announced it was cutting prices on the Mustang Mach-E, and soon after the price dropped by between $900 and $5,900 depending on the vehicle's options. It was clearly a response to Tesla, and Mirren Jaja, the chief customer officer of Ford's electric vehicle business, confirmed that the company was responding to changes in the marketplace. And even though Ford is making no money, the Mach-E model, which has the same capabilities as the Model Y, costs around $63,500. This is still 10 grand more expensive than the Tesla. In addition, this Ford does not qualify for the tax credit of $7,500. So then, what should the companies do? Should they weather the storm? Or should they just declare Tesla the king of EVs? As of now, Tesla is the undisputed EV ruler, and it is difficult to imagine how others could compete with it. Not only is the company selling more affordable EVs, but also offers more specs. We have seen this with the Ford Mach-E, but this is just one example among many. In response to Elon Musk's pricing plan, the top executives of Hyundai and Kia have also fought back, commenting that the stunt by Musk is really dangerous. Even over at Lucid Motors, the firm that was meant to push Tesla out of business with their higher quality and longer range, they have been dropping costs. In December of 2022, the starting price for a Lucid Air Grand Tour version was $155,000, and as of now, the price has been reduced to $139,000. But the Model S Plaid is presently available for $115,000. Another thing to keep in mind is that things haven't really started to get truly interesting just yet. As Elon Musk has been hinting at over the past few months, Tesla is already deep into the development of their next-generation vehicle platform, a platform essentially being developed for a vehicle that will be smarter than the Model 3 and something that Tesla can manufacture at half the cost in half the amount of time. And regardless of what the critics might think about it, Elon has affiliated all his hopes with the development. He is quite optimistic, and according to him, the sales of this new model will eventually exceed those of all other Tesla vehicles combined. Having said that, this does not necessarily indicate that Tesla would sell it for a price that is half that of the model. It's just that the price will be made economical. Yet there is no doubt that it will be a Tesla product that is the least expensive option available to date by a significant margin. The CEO of Tesla has stated that information regarding the next-generation vehicle platform will be disclosed to the general public on March 1st during the Tesla Investor Day event. What other surprises does Tesla have in store? Only time will let us know. But as of now, things are looking quite positive. Can any other company stand up to the competition and dethrone Tesla? Or will Tesla continue to dominate the EV platform in the years to come? Tell us what you personally think in the comments below. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.